Good morning, Lawndale. I'm Robert Pullen Miles, Mayor of the City of Lawndale. Welcome to our 2020 Memorial Day Remembrance. Due to the global outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, we have had to make modifications to our normal ceremony. In the interest of safeguarding the health and well-being of all those who would normally participate in this annual event, we have decided to do things a little differently. This year, we are bringing to you a new video program assembled from portions of our 2018 ceremony, both with new inspirational messages from local elected officials and dignitaries. Despite the difficulties we face as a community and as a nation, we are all Americans joined together on this day to remember one very important fact, and that is that the freedoms that we enjoy today were preserved for us by the ultimate sacrifice of our fellow countrymen and women belonging to the United States military forces. The Bible says, greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. And that is exactly what every one of our courageous men and women of the United States Armed Forces pledged to do when they volunteer their services. So as we begin to emerge from this difficult time of isolation, let us honor and respect the sacrifice of those who gave everything for us. Let us honor and respect those who gave their lives for their loved ones, those who gave their lives so that we may live. Hawthorne Jr. ROTC led by Commander Don, actually his, 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 his brother, Don will, will raise the colors, please. Please stand or remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance led by the Cub Scout Pack 290 of Lawndale. Thank you. 
allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. With that, I want to call up a um, pastor and welcome Pastor Bob Dabrinsky. He is the pastor of the Way to God Church here in the city of Lawndale. He's going to give us an inspiration. Prayer is a two-way communication between us and God. God, we ask God for things and God requires things from us. The first thing that God requires from us is that we have a poor memory against those who have wronged us in any way. If we even count up to seven times, God is saying your memory is still too good. You must forgive and forget. Conversely, if someone does something good for you, you should not forget. You should remember them and be thankful. As a Christian, in the communion service, many of you may remember it, there's a statement on the altar that says, do this in remembrance of me. We are to remember the sacrifice that was made by the Savior. It's in the same way we are to remember Memorial Day, to honor those men who are or were in service of our country because they are and were the instruments of the freedoms which we presently maintain. In our local legion, there is a statement or a definition of what a veteran is. It reads like this, a veteran, whether active duty, retired, National Guard, or reserve, is someone who at one point in his life wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America for an amount up to and including my life. This is honor. And there are way too many people in this country who no longer understand this. This was an anonymous writer, but we must remember and not forget the sacrifices that people, soldiers made for our good. Amen. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the Honorable Lawndale City Council Member and Mayor Pro Tem, Bernadette Suarez. Hello, this is Mayor Pro Tem Suarez. We're doing things a little differently this year due to the pandemic. Every year, we throw a Memorial Day service in honor of those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. With current stay at home orders, our daily lives have been drastically altered. However, I hope that each and every one of you will take a moment to remember what Memorial Day is really about. It's a day of remembrance, a day to remind us all of the huge sacrifices that those brave heroes made so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we do today. Let us not forget also the sacrifices made by those family members of those heroes who have served. And so on Memorial Day, I ask you to take a moment and to reflect upon this. 
and remember that the sacrifices that we're having to make today are little in comparison to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. So please stay safe and take care. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the Honorable Lawndale City Council Member, Daniel Reed. Good day, Lawndale. This is Dan Reed. I appreciate everybody's attention today and welcome to our Memorial Day virtual presentation. So as we're gathered together today in our own homes and remembering folks that have paid the ultimate price for our freedom of this great nation, I really want to just focus a little bit on the memory of those people. That's what today is all about. You know, today's not a day about barbecues, it's not a day about family gatherings, but it is a day to remember those who have paid the ultimate price for our freedom here in the country. And as a U.S. Navy veteran, I served in multiple bases here in California. I served on the USS Vandegrift, being on the front lines here in the Pacific Fleet. So it's very near and dear to my heart for Memorial Day. My cohort and best friend, we signed up together and came in. I actually lost him in 1988 active duty U.S. military up in San Francisco on a, one of our state-of-the-art submarines. So he comes near and dear to my heart today and other days as well, but today especially is when I stop and remember him and honor him. And that is where we're so important in regards to keeping traditions of or memorializing the folks that we have lost. And that's what today is all about. And I really just want to take a moment to say thank you to the families for members who have paid the ultimate price and also to just take a moment of silence to say we remember you and we thank you. You know, God bless America. I salute all of our veterans and all of our persons that we have lost on the front lines. Behind me is our, our memorial wall here in Lawndale for those who are Lawndale residents. If you get a chance, come by and see it at some point in time. Veterans and those who we have lost, I salute you. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the Honorable Lawndale City Council Member, Pat Kearney. Behind me on the wall, there are classmates and friends that died in Vietnam. Their war is over. I, but they gave us the luxury of what we're doing today, filming free. free. We don't have to hide in a cave, a tunnel. We have freedom here. So Memorial Day means a lot to me and the veterans that gave their lives for us to be here today. We have a young man that passed away, was killed in action, in Afghanistan. I think you and I and several of us attended his memorial service. He was a young Marine. And I think the kids nowadays, they take their freedom for granted. I hope to God if there is another conflict, war, police action, that they rise up and know for their generation and the generation to come after them, what freedom really means. You know, uh, I'm gonna use examples 9-11 and now recently this pandemic, how the young generation, well 9-11, how we all bonded together, no matter age group, no matter gender, no matter color, we all bonded together to rise above those, these two. I think I can feel safe sitting in this chair to know that my generation, if they need us, we're there and the generations, my grandkids, my kids, will stand up and be counted for and be sworn in and fight for this country. Drive by a cemetery, look at the crosses for the men and women that died before us to give us these freedoms. And with that, I wish you all a happy Memorial Day. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the Honorable Congresswoman Maxine Waters, member of the House of Representatives for the 43rd District here in California. Hello to everyone in Lawndale. It's a great honor for me to virtually share this Memorial Day with you. Let me first thank Mayor Robert Pullen Miles, members of the Lawndale City Council, and your dedicated staff for putting together this virtual ceremony to pay tribute and remember the brave military service members who paid the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our great nation. This pandemic has deprived us of our routines, threatened our jobs and businesses, and interrupted our lives as we knew them. It has demanded the whole of our nation's attention, but it will not interrupt this day. This is a day that is very sacred to so many of us, and most importantly, to the families of those whose lives we honor today, and whose names are inscribed on Lawndale's memorial wall 
and so many others across our country. Well, I join with you in sharing these remembrances and nothing, not even a pandemic, will take these memories from us. This month, the nation observes a Memorial Day. Since the beginning of our nation, patriotic men and women have stepped forward to serve in our military because they believe in the ideals the United States of America stands for. Peace, liberty, justice, and freedom for all. Many of those men and women sacrificed their lives for all of us and for our country. On Memorial Day, we pay homage to their sacrifice. Today serves as a solemn reminder that our security and liberty are possible because of the men and women in uniform spanning every generation since the Revolutionary War. As you know, Californians are well represented among those brave men and women who served in the military. Our state is home to nearly two million veterans from diverse backgrounds, more than any other state in this country. As a representative of the 43rd District of California in the United States Congress, I'm forever committed to the brave men and women who put on their uniform in our great country and volunteered to protect our liberties and our way of life, to truly honor the more than 1.1 million Americans who have passed away in the line of duty since the Revolutionary War. We must do right by their brothers and sisters in arms and support those veterans who return home. Even before the onset of COVID-19, we could not claim that veterans were being taken care of in the way that this country promised that we would. There are still approximately 40,000 homeless veterans in America, with just over 15,300 living on the street on any given night. Over and after COVID-19, I'm certain we will see an increase in veteran homelessness, and it will be imperative for Congress to act swiftly and allow the VA and HUD to address this growing crisis. While we need more rental units and supportive services for veterans so they can live in safe and secure housing and get the resources they need, we also must do everything we can to improve their livelihoods. So last November, I introduced legislation, the Protecting Benefits for Disabled Veterans Act, that is H.R. 5028, to do just that. This is a difficult time for our nation, and we reach out to support one another through the struggles and trials COVID-19 has created. Include in your thoughts and efforts the families who have lost a loved one in the line of duty. No amount of words can ever begin to ease the pain of losing a son or daughter, a brother or sister or a father or mother. Compounding that grief is the reality that we are now more isolated and physically distant than at any time in recent history. So please reach out over virtual messages like this one or however you would like to communicate to the families and friends of those who lost a loved one in the line of duty. They must know that their community and their city is with them, thinking of them, and stands by them, even if we cannot be next to them. So take the time, not just a special holiday, but every day to remember and appreciate and give thanks to the sacrifices made by our fallen soldiers. Thank you for inviting me to join you on Memorial Day. And thank you to all of our military personnel and families for your great sacrifice. We will forever be thankful for your service and your sacrifice. Thank you so very much. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the Honorable State Senator Stephen Bradford, member of the California State Senate for District 35 here in California. Good morning, City of Lawndale, and welcome to the annual Memorial Day celebration. This is our nation's 102nd celebration of Memorial Day. I would like to thank the Mayor, Robert Pullen Miles, and the Council for their tremendous leadership 
and putting this event together. I want to thank the City of Lawndale for paying tribute to the men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice in defense of the freedoms of our nation. Remember that freedom of religion is not because of a pastor, freedom of speech is not because of a lawyer, and freedom of protest is not because of a politician. It's because of the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. It's because of them we have the basic freedoms that we enjoy every day. Let us not forget the veterans we lost to this invisible enemy this year of COVID-19. Their sacrifices should not go without recognition. As we remember our heroes, let us also take a moment to remember the sacrifices not only of our brave men and women, but also their families who make sacrifices to protect our democracy. Let us remember that we have the opportunity each day to honor these brave men and women by practicing ideals of liberty and equality. I'm the son, grandson, great-grandson, and a nephew of veterans. These are the men and women, our true heroes, because they gave their lives for something greater than themselves. It is often said, all have given some, but some have given all. And we must always remember them. As you observe this day, know it's not about a barbecue or a day at the beach or getting a day off. Let us be thankful and remember the real heroes of our nation. By participating in democracy, each of us is contributing to the causes that these courageous individuals fought and died for. This nation is great because of our men and women in uniform. If you're a veteran in need of assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to my office or the California Department of Veterans Affairs at 213-620-2755. That's 213-620-2755. And CalVets, local interagency network coordinators, better known as LINC, continue to serve members, veterans, and their families seeking benefit information, claim assistance, and other community resources. And they can be reached at 213-342-7741. That's 213-342-7741. On behalf of the 35th Senate District, enjoy your Memorial Day. Stay home, stay safe, May God bless each and every one of you. May God bless America. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the Honorable State Assemblywoman Autumn Burke, a member of the California State Assembly for the 62nd Assembly District. Hello, this is Autumn Burke, member of the California State Assembly representing the city of Lawndale. As public servants, we have committed ourselves to serving our communities on all level of government. However, what we do as elected leaders in no way compares to the sacrifice men and women in uniform make every day to protect our freedom. On this Memorial Day, I encourage everyone to take time out of their day to reflect and remember the brave men and women across the state and throughout the nation who have served honorably in the U.S. military and have died to protect our liberties. They will never be forgotten. It was President Bill Clinton who stated in his 2000 Memorial Day address, to preserve the peace, we must never forget the sacrifice that have paved the way to peace. So today, we say thank you to our fallen heroes, the ones that never left the battlefield, the one that never returned home and their families, the one that fought to maintain our freedom. We honor their sacrifice and we honor their love of God and country, but most of all, we honor their courage and their dedication. May God continue to bless our brave men and women serving in the U.S. Armed Forces, and may God bless Lawndale, the 62nd, and our nation. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Major Matthew Sanford, who is the Deputy Program Manager of Omega Launch Systems at the Space and Missile Systems Center at Los Angeles Air Force Base, as he presents this year's keynote address. Have you stopped to find out why we celebrate Memorial Day? For many, it's the official start of summer, but for most, it is a three-day weekend packed full of cookouts, sunburn, and even new car deals. Originally called Decoration Day and started after the U.S. Civil War, it was not until 1971 that the U.S. Congress stipulated that the last Monday in May as a national day of honoring the men and women who have died while serving in the U.S. military. Communities all across this great country of ours will be holding parades and other community events like the City of Lawndale's Memorial Day ceremony. Today is very different, and due to the Safer at Home Directive and social distancing policies, even though we can't be together in person today, we can come together virtually and still honor those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. 
In a CNN news piece, it was reported that 1.1 million Americans have died in defense of our country. Memorial Day is about honoring their service and it is about pausing our frantic, stressful lives to say a prayer to, of thanks to those who have given the ultimate sacrifice to keep this great land free. Pew Research statistics say that adults 50 and older, 77% have had an immediate family member who have served. For those 30 to 49, 57% have had a parent, sibling, or child who has served. For those 18 to 29, less than one-third have an immediate family member who has served. The point to this is to say that America is losing its touch with its military. So with that being said, that as long as the Memorial Day holds true to the original purpose to honor those who have died defending her, America will always remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. In 2000, Congress passed a resolution that asked Americans to pause at precisely 3 p.m. wherever you are and remember those who have died in service to this great nation in an act of national unity. So today, I ask that you join me at 3 p.m., turn off your TV, set down your smartphone, and find the closest American flag you can see and give thanks. We are the land of the free because of the brave. Thank you for giving me a moment of your time and reflecting on the 1.1 million service men and women who have died defending our country. Today is about them. Tomorrow is up to you. God bless the United States of America. Okay. Any war, war veterans joining us today? Okay. All right. So first we want to acknowledge those who have, have um, fought in the, um, the um, war, and then we want to invite those who have served um, whether they fought in the war or, uh, or not to, um, to join us on stage. If you are a veteran, please join us on stage. Let's do it. Yes, absolutely. So we just want to take this opportunity to, to thank um, all our, our veterans um, who have served um, this great nation and just give them an opportunity to, to share with us like a 30 second, you know, a sound bite. Give us your, your um, military um, service, um, the branch that you served in and, you know, in the, the, the era, uh, if you will. Let's start with um, our current. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, as, as mentioned several times, I'm Colonel Ryan Golden. I'm still on active duty now. Uh, been on active duty for about 23 years now and still proud to serve. Thank you very much. Bob Dabransky, uh, U.S. Air Force, a uh, long time ago, 62 to 66, uh, Vietnam era. Uh, my name is Ed Dunn. I was in the Marine Corps from 1959 to 1963. Oscar Bernal, U.S. Marine Corps, 52. Dan Reed, U.S. Navy, USS Vandegrift, 1985 to 1989. Kim Reed, U.S. Army Air Traffic Controller, 1975-1978. Terry Roan, U.S. Air Force, May 68 to November 70. I was a disabled veteran, came home early. I'm fine. I always have something to say. <laughs> and <clears throat> They did not die in vain. Uh, I served in World War II on a small amphibious ship in the large Pacific Ocean, which tossed our ship around like a toy in a typhoon. And they did not die in vain because we're here honoring them today. And. Uh, 
I want to thank Lawndale and thank the mayor and all of you who are here every year to honor our fallen heroes. So many thousands have died and the best thing we could do to honor them is not to get into wars that are unnecessary. You know, what we can do now is make sure we vote for the people who are not warmongers, who will make money on wars. And not send our young, young people to get killed so they can make money. Now we know right now we have warmongers who are looking forward to war. And anyway, I want to thank Maxine Waters and Steve Bradford and, and our assemblywoman uh, for their good words. And I thank them and I wish you all <clears throat> peace. May the peace of the Holy Spirit descend on us and stay forever. Thank you. Tom Strick Fadden, United States Navy, 1978 to 1983. Let's give all our veterans a round of applause. We thank you for being with us here today to celebrate the lives and the sacrifices of our brave and honorable men and women of our military services. We look forward to the future when we can join together in person to remember and to celebrate these hard fought freedoms with all of our relatives and our friends. Take care, be safe, and God bless America, and God bless Lawndale.